So, at this point, you may be wondering what to do if you don't own a camera or can't seem to find anyone to borrow one from. Are you stuck from being able to post your ads on Craigslist? Of course not. You still have options. In this lecture, I'll explain how to get product photos without a camera. Even without a camera, you're still in luck. You can still find product photos, and the best place to start is with Google. So let's get searching. Ideally, you'll have some kind of a product name or model number to search on. Enter it into Google and select the Image tab. If you don't have a unique model number or part number, then enter in a specific search term with as much detail as possible. For our course example, I searched Bearcat Receiver Model BC4 Electric Company and came up with a slew of photos. So you want to search through the resulting photos to find those that match your product. Now some of these photos may come from the product manufacturer, and others may come from sites like eBay, Craigslist, or some other online classified service. So when you find a photo that looks like yours, just right-click on it and select the Save Image As option and store it to the appropriate product folder on your hard drive. If you haven't yet created a unique folder for your product, you can do that now. You can modify your search criteria by selecting specific search filters too. In our case, I only wanted images larger than 400 by 300 pixels. Now I did want to mention a word of caution when using images that you find like this. To play it extra safe, you may consider Google's advanced search settings for images. Under Usage Rights, look for categories that include the words free to use or share even commercially. Now when you do this, this will guarantee that your photos are legal for your use. Now you can refer to Google for more information about usage rights. One important thing to consider when using these web photos, you want to make certain that any photo you use looks exactly like what you're selling. It would be really unfair and unethical if you used a photo that misled customers in any way. If your product fails to measure up to the photo's representation, then you shouldn't use it, in my opinion. Some sellers may choose otherwise, and if so, should make full disclosure in the product description. See, the last thing you want to do is have an unhappy or pissed off customer. Now you may think that the photo doesn't really matter, since the buyer will ultimately end up seeing the real product anyway. But believe me, it's not worth trying to fool or mislead a customer in any way. Another important point about acquiring photos from Google is that you'll end up with limited selection. You'll be really hard pressed to find the same photo variety online that you could create yourself with a camera. But on the other hand, Viewing different product photos may actually spawn some new shooting ideas or perspectives that you hadn't thought of before. And you therefore may want to try some of these new shots with your product once you do have a camera. So even if you aren't in the possession of a camera, you can still get product photos for your ad posting.